What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Battle of the Games. <laughs> I forgot to introduce us. We are Board and Scale, and this is another episode of Battle of the Games while Kenzie puts on her headphones. Hey, you excited to be here, Kenz? I'm so excited. And today we bring to you Dwayne's number three favorite game of all time with an asterisk because the list has changed since the making of the lists. Dwayne Dice throne. Some of us are more fickle than others. Dwayne has broadened his horizons. We have season one <laughs> here on the table to represent <laughs> the whole of the game. But unless, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I assume, Dwayne, you are talking about Dice Throne as a whole. As a whole, yes. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Board and Scale podcast, <laughs> Battle of the Games. Board and Scale's first ever snake video. It's another vendor spotlight. That the penguin's the only one with any character. What you're likely to hatch when you mix certain genetics. You know I don't play right, 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 right. All of the Dice Throne. Because... I own every iteration of it. So and how do you play Dice Throne, Daniel? So Dice Throne is a dice Yahtzee, uh, what's it called? Yahtzee type. Dice roller. Dice roller. <laughs> battle card driven. <laughs> so the way, the way it's played is everybody chooses a character, asymmetric, different, different abilities, different powers. Um, and you have a hand of cards that lets you gain combat points, which is like currency, lets you reroll dice, lets you upgrade abilities. But the main thing is you rolling dice. It's a Yahtzee style rolls. So you get three total rolls. You can roll whatever you like, uh, reroll whatever you like, <laughs> don't like. Um, and you're trying to go for abilities on your board, whether that be sets of symbols straights uh anything like that and then you fire off your ability you choose somebody heal hurt whatever and then they can defend by also chucking dice and again that's it <laughs> like pretty much you keep going until somebody is the last one alive you can also play it in teams i've done it before it's fine as teams but i will always play it as a free for all free for all do you guys remember when i won yeah um <laughs> so we played season one uh again i own every iteration with the x-men on the way from kickstarter <laughs> not shout out kickstarter stop spending your money there okay why or do <laughs> stinky stinky crowdfunding websites i'm sick of them it's not Topic for another day. Go ahead. I'm so confused. But yeah, yeah that's we'll dice. talk about this later. That's Dice Throne. Pod top. You guys can. That's Dice Throne, and we're going to begin our ratings over here with Mr. Cavondrius. No, I want to go first. Oh, you want to go first? first. Yeah, we'll yeah go because this I want to talk shit about Kevin. All right, ladies first. Ooh, go ahead. Shit. So, Dice Throne. Again, dice throwing. Luck. That's all it is. It's just luck. It's this one. Strategic luck. I can't. You can change your die on this one too, but it's like um, you have to have enough power points. Combat what are points. they called? Points. Combat points um, to be able to play cards that will allow you to change them. And people can like negate those. So like, if you play a card, they can be like, "Nope, no, you can't." Um, Very rarely that you can just cancel someone's card. Mm, not quite as rare as you would think. Um, in this game, also, when you play King of the Hill. Some people like other people more than others <laughs> and like to gang up on people or just help one person and not anybody else because they want them to win. So that is a. Uh, so I guess that's your review of Dice Throne. <laughs> this game. My review of this game is I hate how other people play it. More so, when you play King of the Hill, which is when there's one winner. Free for all. Free for all, whatever. Um, it's King of the Hill, too. It's, yeah. it's the same thing. We're in Texas. It should be King of the Hill. <gasps> it's free for all. Same thing. Damn it, Bobby. Same thing. Um, when you have effects for some characters that are healing, um, and you can't do it for yourself, when you have to pick other characters, it's like 
kind of annoying when you're like, you have to pick one person, right? Pick this person or pick this person or pick this person because it can upset other people. Um, when you're just constantly picking the same person or like, I'm not a huge fan of like picking people to fight. Um, so that in itself is not a great aspect of games for me because I, it's just direct confrontation. Yes. It just feels personal for me. I know it's not. I'm fine after the game. It just leave me alone. Yes, I am. Nine times out of 10, I'm fine after the game. Um, but yeah, that is one thing with dice throne that you are picking people. You're saying, I am going to attack you. I want you to lose life. Die. So I was not a huge fan. I, even though we own it. This is actually our copy. We also have season two. I like Yassi. We will not have it for long. I like Yassi. If you're going to FlinkCon and you want this <laughs> and mayhaps season two, it'll be at the bazaar. That out, but anyways. I like Yahtzee. I like the way the game plays. I don't like the direct combat of it. Maybe I would like it more in pairs when you're attacking a group of people. But when it's one one on one, not my favorite kind of play. I don't even know what I would rate it, to be honest. You gotta pick a number. You gotta pick a number. I'll let you guys go and then I'll pick a number nope, later. You gotta pick a number now. Damn it. Why did I want to go first? Um probably a six six and a half you can rate it lower if you really don't like it it's fine no because like i said i like how the game plays like i like, like the like characters the i like the yahtzee mechanic i enjoy that i like how each character has different a different play style i like the as the asymmetry i just don't the direct combat it kills me the luck so maybe Not this this system, but a like boss battler instead where you're kind of doing a co-op is something you'd like. Which that's a thing. Oh, there you go. Beer, 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 beer. Is that going to be the X-Men thing? Huh? Is that going to be X-Men thing or what? No, it's Dice Stone Adventures. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, is that the campaign? Yeah. I would definitely like that a lot more than just the direct combat part of this. X-Men also has that aspect. It will. Yeah. I didn't get it because I don't like co-ops, so. <laughs> what do you think about this as a just two player then? I don't care. You know that you're attacking the other person. If you right. go into this like that, it's different. But if you have three other players and you're specifically well, choosing I'm, one person. I get it. But if different. it was just a two player game, would you rate it differently? Probably. Because we've played it just two players. So it's not as bad. Okay. That's your done. That's mm -hmm. your done. Yeah. That leaves it up to My me. Spiel. That leaves it up to me. And here is Dice Throne. And Stop for you guys' talking. information, this battle of the game play that we had of us four playing the Dice Throne, even with some characters maybe getting a benefit from another character, <laughs> you know, helping them out, it didn't matter, okay? Because the Honorable Paladin of Light came through with the victory, which was me, if you didn't know, if, I, if the implication wasn't enough. It was me. Anyways, we've already talked about this, If you if you know me. I do like luck in games. I'm because he's lucky as fuck. Only in games. In the rest of life, I am not. <laughs> but, but, yeah. Okay. Well, that didn't. Uh, <laughs> except for this, I lucked out with this here, with my beautiful wife, <laughs> who I love very much. <laughs> Anyways, I like the asymmetric <laughs> characters. I like the Yahtzee style of play. I just think it's cool that. You when you roll your die, you get those rerolls, and if you have different upgrades, or it d depends on the character really, but some characters can just straight up change die. Some of the cards will allow you to just straight up change die. So there's a lot of mitigation of the luck that goes on. I didn't really need it, so I used a lot of my combat points to just straight upgrade my character, allowed me to do stronger things, and let me take the victory. Um, and I had a really fun time doing it, and it was satisfying to not get beaten by the team in this free-for-all game. And uh, I think overall, I'd probably rate it a 7.5 just because, to be honest, I think I could play Yahtzee, just normal Yahtzee, and get the same sensation when I get lucky with stuff. I do think that maybe a semi-co-op boss battler would fit what my partner likes a lot more. But either way, that turns it to a co-op, which I don't like anyway. So, 
whatever. And we're not here to rate the co-op version of it anyway. We're here to rate, I guess we are rating Dice Throne as a whole, huh? Anyways, <laughs> that's my rating. Okay, next. All right, so <coughs> disclaimer, this game is basically everything I personally don't like in games. So take that with a huge grain of salt because the things that people have talked about here, like they may be things you enjoy, right? Like Sebastian really likes luck, throwing dice. I don't like it, right? It's not something I really enjoy. Um, but strategic luck, by the way. It's not strategic. There's no such thing as strategic luck. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> <laughs> Um, don't like the dice aspect of it. Um, the Yahtzee piece is, is, is fine. It helps you make it a, a little bit better. But again, in a, com in a game where, you know, your ability to do something, you know, on a turn is dependent on those dice and you're trying to work for something, um, a combo that's maybe not even like a super aggressive combo. It's like something that's not difficult, but the dice just don't work for you. Then you can waste an entire turn doing almost nothing. Um, and then if other players are rolling really well, again, that can help them. Um, but the other thing I don't like about the game, and this is like something I've learned about myself more and more, I don't like games where the level of asymmetry from player to player to player is almost complete. As in everything that you do, can do, have is different from me. Like, the only thing that we have in common is turn structure. I don't like that, um, personally. And that's partly because I don't play any single one game enough to learn all the different characters. Now, if you play this game enough, and there's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different characters. In one box. In one box. And you're like, all right, cool. I know generally what they all do. Their powers <clears throat> and their abilities are something you're just familiar with. Totally cool, right? And that would probably make it a lot easier to digest. But as it is, sitting down, you're like, all right, I'm trying to learn my my character. Like, what are you doing? Wait, what can al what allows you to do that? Wait, you're making me lose points here, and he's making me have poison here? Poison does what? Yep, yeah, and then as you. a player who's like, all right, cool, like, I'm going to distribute, you know, damage equally, so I've attacked you, I've attacked you, and I'm going to go attack you. But wait, you've got like what are these things on your board now? You can block and divert. Oh, you and have shoot thorns. All these you can reflect things. damage. Whatever it may be, like it just changes everything, and it's it's a lot to keep it keep track of. And I'm just not interested enough in the game conceptually to want to learn all of those different things. Split damage my ass. There's also I think there's also something to be said about like I'm also someone that I don't care if I don't. If I don't know everything that's going on, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll with it, you know. So, I do think that's an aspect of wanting to know, wanting to have all the information, you know, when you're making your decisions. Yeah, I mean, if you're comfortable with a, that level of ambiguity, and not knowing what's going on, that's and you're just fine. That's okay, and, you know. But again, if you are trying to be any what competitive, um, and again, like. Believe it or not, like there was some parts of the game where it's like, I would actually like to attack this particular player. However, if I attack this particular player, I will actually end up taking more damage in the end because of the way it's it's set up. And I'm just not willing to do that. Now, mind you also, I didn't care enough about winning the game to begin with because it was pretty clear pretty early on that it wasn't a game for me. So fair enough. And that I probably affected other people's perspectives. But... The other thing, too, is, is I don't like games where you have a King of the Hill aspect that has asymmetric player endings as far as, like, players can get knocked out because, you know, what are you supposed to do? Try to do your best to, oh, I'm going to do one damage to you and one damage to you and one damage to you and then two to you and then two to you and then two to you. Like, it doesn't make sense. It's not a That's not a good strategy for playing the game. You're better suited to eliminate players quickly and then reduce the number of people playing if you want to play competitively so i i don't like that aspect of it at all period like i'm not interested in it i do think the interestingly enough the co-op concept i think would be more interesting because then i can just focus on my character maybe there's some kind of synergy we can work with but like you know 
that's but it's probably you and the enemy. Right, exactly. And again, I'm not also worried about like, oh, I got to spread my damage opponents, my other three opponents or whatever. It's less of a factor. Um, so, yeah, it it just it, it's not a game for me. Doesn't mean it's not a good game, um, but it's not a game for me. Um, so. <laughs> it's okay. He this is this is it's been pushed out anyway. It's like a four. Oh that was rude. Like <laughs> I if you were like, hey, let's play Dice Throne, I'd be like uh, I'll sit this one out. To be fair, if you come to play games, us four playing games, you're gonna suggest Dice Throne. <laughs> no. I knew that you didn't enjoy the carnage that was that day. I knew that before we were going to do this, <laughs> that I would never bring this out. Or In fairness, request it. we had also we did talk about doing like like a tournament style with it where like we just do one V one and then, you know, you just play two games or something, you know, yeah, the winner, winners, winners play, have a second game, losers play and just get one through four. But um, I don't know. Maybe it would have been better that way, but I'm still four. It would have been longer. Kevin healed Dwayne, and I'm never getting over it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey man. That's, 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 that's Croc and Rhino, baby. Croc Rhino. Hey, Snow and Hedgehog. No, I would have killed your ass. But you couldn't. So Snow and Hedgehog. I could have. Snow no. and Hedgehog. It's written inside of our welcome to box. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's okay. You don't want to shake my hand, so. Oh, no, it's okay. I'm good. This game is so fucking fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, me and my friends, like. Not us. Yeah. Um, definitely, this is probably easily. W- the game that we've had the most fun playing, it's nothing more than it's trying to be. It's just fucking rolling dice, playing cards, a couple of hoorahs, a couple of fuck yous. Game's over. Let's go home. Or let's play another one. Let's go home. <laughs> let's go home because everyone's mad. <laughs> or let's or let's play another one. Fucking there's Goddamn eight characters in one box, a second box with eight characters, a third box with eight characters. More boxes on the way with more characters. More boxes with eight a characters. A subscription box service coming soon. <laughs> Don't steal my idea, whoever <laughs> published this. So it lends itself to, if you had enough fun, being like, let's do it again. I want to try another character. So on and so forth. I, like it's just, it's, it's just fun. And it, like with that, it's a fun. <laughs> Obvi- <laughs> Obviously, through these videos, you've seen that I don't give a fuck about this technical shit. <laughs> I want to have some fun. Yeah, God Dwayne's all about vibes. <laughs> Which is it. not is not saying they are wrong in any of their statements how or the, anything like that. How were the vibes of the game we played? I was having fun. I think <laughs> me and Sebastian I was having a good time. were having a good time. <laughs> Kevin was not liking the game. Kevin was doing his taxes on the Kenzie side. Kenzie was not liking Kevin, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would actually enjoy doing my taxes more than playing dice. Ooh, I could save seven dollars here. <laughs> and I mean that that comes through with me owning every single box of dice thrown. So with that, I mean, I give it an eight. I have a lot of fun with it. Every time I play it, I'll never say no to playing dice thrown. Somebody wants to play it, they're just like. Fuck yeah, let's do it, baby. It's easy. It's simple. You get through it. If you don't like it, sorry. <laughs> it's quick. <laughs> Not quick enough. All right, what's so your yeah, rating? Eight. Eight. Oh, you said? Oh, well, <laughs> I can't hear, sorry. With these cans on my ears, I missed what he said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I guess that's going to do it for this uh, episode of Battle of the Games here at board and scale for Dice Throne, all of them, not just season one, all of the Dice Thrones. I think it's fair to rate them all. It's all I the disagree. same system, right? I think that I would enjoy the co-op way more. 
Okay. Well, Get your we're never going to play Dice Stone again. So, mm. at least not 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 this group. <laughs> but anyways, thanks for watching. If you are still here, don't forget to like and subscribe. I for, always forget to ask that in the other videos. You'll see this. Demand it. You'll see this game uh, and us at the ratings video at the end of the series. Not me. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>